guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my Celine Cabas tote. I picked this up in Japan during my last trip there. I'm really happy I was able to take that trip when I did. It was right before the shutdown and when things got really crazy. Um, I was there from late January to early February, but as we all know, then there was a lockdown and you couldn't travel. So I do feel really lucky I was able to go when I did. I picked this up at a pre-loved store and the secondary market for pre-loved deluxe goods in Japan is just so great. There's so much variety and so much to choose from. And for the most part, there are really good prices, um, especially compared to the United States. So I wouldn't say that this was a bag that was necessarily on my wish list, but the price was so good And then when I just saw it in store, I was really drawn to the color and the simplicity of it It's just such an easy grab-and-go tote that I just picked it up and I don't have any regrets about it I was really drawn to the color. I really love this neutrally gray color It's like a it's a very cool tone light gray with almost some light blue undertones underneath And I think that's just so it's just a really lovely color and works really well for my wardrobe. I will show you guys really uh, really quickly just to compare. The other gray bag that I have is my Balenciaga in the size small, city bag in the size small, and it is a much darker gray. And just so you can see side by side, that this one does have a lighter, cooler, uh, bluish undertone to it compared to this one. So there is that. And it does have the Celine lettering up here in silver. It might be a little hard to tell, but there is an accent above the E, so this is the old Celine. So it says Celine Paris, made in Italy. I added this little Hello Kitty charm that I picked up at the airport on my way back from my trip, and I just thought it was really cute, so I have it on there for now. And this is just a simple tote. There is no closure. Just It's just one big container at the bottom. It does have a hanging container here for some organization that has two flat pockets and a zipper pocket in the back right here. The bottom has this really nice envelope seam closure, which I really like a lot. There is no reinforcement on the bottom, but I think with the way that they have kind of sewn this bottom together, it does have a little bit of reinforcement, even though there isn't a shaper or anything at the bottom. And I don't have a base shaper and or a bag organizer. I would consider getting a bag organizer at some point, but for now I just haven't really felt the need. There isn't a way to close the bag on the inside. It's just open like this. However, if you want it, and I've seen people do wear this bag like this, you can kind of cinch up the ties and either wear it like this, or you can also just tie it. Which just closes the bag up a little bit. And it almost looks like a bucket bag like this. I think I really do like the way that this looks, but I'm kind of lazy for the most part. So I usually have just worn it open with the strap um, with the straps out like this. Another thing I really like about this tote bag is that the top part tapers off where it's a little bit wider. And for me, that makes it a lot easier to kind of open up the bag and see what's on the inside and kind of rummage through and grab the things that I need. When bags are smaller at the top and wider at the bottom, I find that it makes it a lot harder to kind of like go through and uh, find what you're looking for. So there's that. Let me quickly do the dimensions um, for you guys. Might be kind of hard because this is a bit of a slouchy bigger bag, but I'll do my best here. So the bottom part, just the bottom part from here to here is about 11 inches. And then from top to bottom, it is about 12 inches. And then from side to side at the very top part, it is about, actually, let's see here. I would say it's about 19 inches. So hopefully you can see that. And then the depth from the very bottom is about seven inches. The handle drop is pretty generous and it's very comfortable and it's about, it's about nine inches. There to there. And I have an extra layer on right now and it's very comfortable on my shoulder. So let me just show you guys what fits inside and what I would put in this bag. So like I said, I, I haven't gotten a bag organizer for this yet. I might in the future, but I haven't really felt the need to get it right now. Here's a water bottle and some small leather goods. I have my mini pochette. I have my full size wallet. I have my zippy coin purse. I have my clay, Bastia, and transit card. And I'd probably stick these in the back pockets. So that is just kind of what it looks like. I would also probably stick my phone in this pocket right here in the back. So you can see, even with the 
bag pretty full. The bottom doesn't sag too much. I mean, you can definitely tell there's stuff in here, but it's not like other tote bags where the bottom sags like a lot. And that's what it looks like. And there's still plenty of room to put other things that you might need. If you wanted to add a scarf, you could put that on top right here. There's that. Also, this would be, make a really great travel bag. You can fit a Kindle and also the Toiletry 26 fits as well. I'm just gonna move some things around so I can put this on the bottom. So that's what the bag would look like. And then add this on top. And then if you wanted to tie the bag, just cinch it. And you can either cinch it just a little bit and do a simple little tie. And that's what it looks like cinched with stuff inside and it does give you just a little bit more security. So it is kind of heavy like this, I'll say, but you know, that's kind of the nature of having a tote bag, I think. It's just the great thing is that they can fit a lot, but if you, if you stuff it completely, it is gonna get heavy. I do find that the straps are very comfortable and I do feel like this leather is really, really good quality. So there is that. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything I forgot to mention. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys next time. Bye.